Hello everyone. In this video, I'll explain the virtual machine scale set and provide the different use cases of it and later show the step-by-step -step deployment of Azure virtual machine scale set in the lab. So let's start with what is Azure virtual machine scale set. So it's a compute resource which is designed specifically to manage and deploy the identical virtual machines. It has different features and advantages like the first one is auto scaling. Based on the demand, it can scale up or scale down the number of the virtual machines in the virtual machine scale set. You can even schedule the scaling of the virtual machines along with the manual scaling. In case you are using Azure Load Balancer or Application Gateway, then the virtual machine scale set integrates well with it. So when there is a surge in the demand, it scales up the number of the virtual machines in the VMSS. Integration with the different Azure services like Azure Monitor, Log Analytics Workspace, as well as Azure DevOps works well with VMSS too. In case in your environment you are using the custom images, so that is also supported using the virtual machine scale set. So while deploying the virtual machine scale set, instead of providing the Azure image, you can provide your custom image. And then all the virtual machines will be deployed based on that custom image. And finally, it provides the high availability. So the virtual machines in the VMSS will be deployed in the different availability zones. And in case your region doesn't support the availability zone, then all the virtual machines will be deployed in the different fault domains using the availability set. There are multiple use cases of using the virtual machine scale set. First one is the web applications. In case you want to run the web application on the virtual machine and maintain the high availability and redundancy, in that case, virtual machine scale set works well with application gateway. Whenever there will be a surge in the demand, automatically scaling up or scaling down will happen. Another use case is the batch processing. Sometimes in your organization, there is a demand of the batch processing, which cannot be fulfilled using a single virtual machine. And you want the identical virtual machines to scale up or down based on the demand. So in that case, VMSS is a perfect fit. Same applies to the big data analytics. So the scaling will happen based on the demand for the analysis of the data. And finally, the microservices architecture. If you're using Kubernetes in your environment and you want to use the virtual machine, then based on the number of the pods which are being deployed in the Kubernetes, the virtual machines will scale up or scale down and provide the high availability and redundancy along with saving the cost. So now let me show you step-by-step -step deployment of the virtual machine scale set in the lab. And in this case, I'll use the scenario where we are deploying the web application on the Ubuntu server and attach the virtual machine scale set behind the Azure load balancer. I am logged into Azure portal now and let's start with the deployment of load balancer. Go to the load balancer or, or search for the load balancer. Create a new load balancer. I'll be creating a new resource group, RG web server. in the demo load balancer 01. So let's deploy the standard load balancer. It will be public because I'll be accessing this load balancer from my laptop. Regional. In the front end IP configuration, we have to create a public IP. So first front end 01. Create a new public IP address. Front end public IP 01. So it will be a static IP and zone redundant. Save it. And we are not deploying the gateway load balancer. So save. Next will be the backend pool. Add a backend pool. Backend 01. And select the virtual network. VNet Australia 01. And in this case, because we'll be adding the virtual machine scale set, so I'm not going to add anything here. Save. Inbound rules. Let's create a rule. LB rule 01. So if the traffic comes to the front end IP address, it should go to the back end pool. It's a very simple rule on port 80 because we'll be creating the web servers and the back end port will be 80. Now for this, we need to create a health prob also. Health prob 01. 
and this will be HTTP problem. So the path is slash and the port is 80 and the interval is 5 seconds. Health of the load balancer will depend on this path in the virtual machines. Save it and save. Load balancing rule is created. Now next is outbound rule. We are not creating any outbound rule for now and just review and create and create. So I'll wait till the load balancer is created. So load balancer is created now. Go to the resource. So it has a backend pool and it's checking the port 80, health probe is on port 80 and it's a standard load balancer. Now let's start with the creation of virtual machine scale sets. So let's look for VMSS, virtual machine scale sets and create. We'll use the same resource group, which is RG web server. Let's name the virtual machine scale set as VMSS web server. Australia East is the region and let's deploy in all three availability zones. Now in the orchestration mode, there are two options, flexible and uniform. So uniform is a traditional way of deploying the virtual machine scale set where the, all the virtual machine will be identical, same size and SKU. However, in the case of the flexible, you can deploy identical virtual machines or the different types of virtual machines too. So I'll choose the flexible, though I'll be deploying the similar virtual machines, but I'm choosing the flexible. This is a recommended option too. And let's add the auto scaling. We need to define the auto scaling here in the configure. It's a default condition. Let's change it. Let's change it to auto scale 01, where the initial instance count will be 2, minimum 2, maximum should be 4. So based on your requirement, you can provide the maximum count so that whether there is a demand or not, it should not scale beyond that limit. And it's based on the CPU threshold. If the CPU threshold is above 80%, then automatically it should scale out one instance at a time. And if in case the CPU utilization is below 20%, it should decrease the instance count by one. And this should happen every 10 minutes. You can set it as five minutes and save. There is an option of predictive auto scaling also based on the different metrics and how it how your application has performed in the past, it will automatically scale based on the predictive analysis. So I'm not enabling it now and we are not enabling the dog log analytics or anything. So save this. I'll be using the image as Ubuntu server. However, you can use your custom image here and size is B2S version two, which is good enough for me. Let's provide the username and password. This is for logging into the virtual machines. We are not using any spot instance. So next, we are using a single OS disk. Next, networking. So I want to use the existing virtual network, which is VNet Australia 01. And I want to use this virtual machine scale set behind the Azure load balancer. So let's select the load balancer, which we have created. Shell in the demo, load balancer 01. And the backend pool is backend 01. I'm not enabling the boot diagnostics. Otherwise it will create a storage account for me. This is just a lab. Otherwise it's recommended to store the boot diagnostic logs. No health. And in the advance, I want to provide the custom data so that a post deployment script will run once the virtual machine is deployed. I don't want to log into each and every virtual machine and then provide this data. So every time a new virtual machine will be scaled up, it will have this data enabled. So let me quickly copy paste the script here. So what it's doing is installing the web Apache server using the apt command, then restarting the service and enabling it 
and creating a web page where it's written welcome to the name of the host so that whenever we'll hit the public IP of the load balancer, we'll get to know which server we are getting the request from. Preview and create and create. This will take few minutes to set up because two virtual machines will be created and then on both the virtual machine post deployment custom script will run. So I'll pause the video and we'll be back once it's done. Virtual machine scale set is deployed now. Let's go to the resource. And this is the virtual machine scale set with the size as standard B2S. It's a Linux operating system and it will be deployed in different availability zones. So let's look for virtual machines. So all the virtual machine names are on the name of the virtual machine scale sets appended with some random value. So now if we'll go to the first virtual machine, it's in availability zone one and the second virtual machine in zone two. Because I'm in Australia East, there are three zones supported. So if I'll scale up the virtual machine scale set to three, then the third virtual machine will be deployed in zone three. So now let's go to the load balancer and check if in the backend pool, these servers are added or not. And here you can see both the servers are added into the backend pool. Now let's check the front end IP of the load balancer and use this IP as a URL and see if it provides the web page on the virtual machines. But it's not providing any information, it will be time bound. The reason is because we haven't modified the network security group. So if we'll go to the NSG, there is one NSG. So as you can see, there is no inbound rule for port 80. So let's create a new rule and the source is my IP address. This is the public IP address for me and the destination service will be HTTP and add. Because this NSG is connected to virtual machine scale set, so all the virtual machines will have the port 80 open now. We'll go to the network settings, scroll down and you can see my IP address is allowed. Now let's go to the load balancer. Click on the load balancer and copy the front end IP from here. If you'll open this in browser and it shows the web server name and the appended characters. So let's open it again in the new window and here you go. So now it's load balancing between both the servers using the front end IP of the load balancer. And in case there are a lot of requests which are coming through the load balancer and which raises the CPU utilization of the virtual machine above 80%, then the auto scaling will happen. And in that case, every five minutes, a new virtual machine will be created. But we have provided the maximum limit of four, whether the CPU utilization is above 80% or not, the virtual machines will not scale. And now because we have deployed the virtual machines in different availability zones, so automatically high availability is provided using the virtual machine scale set. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.